Miss Susie had a steamboat, the steamboat had a bell. Miss Susie went to heaven, steamboat went to hello, operator, please get, what? Rebecca, I am never going to be ready for the show if you keep interrupting me. <sighs> Fine, I'll do Ask the Mead Maker. Welcome to Ask the Mead Maker, where I, Ricky the Mead Maker, answer your questions on mead, mead making, mead drinking, and really, any question you're willing to send to me. After last week's show, we got a question from TJ asking, how do you decide which recipe to move forward with when you're developing new recipes? The answer is, we do tastings. I don't know where they went, Rebecca. I, uh, Kelly drank them. We should do the take again. I mean, we haven't done eight takes. Okay, so we have a maple, a breakfast mead, a rooibos mead, and a ginger mead that we let people come in and try. Then at the end of the quarter, we let you vote. We also put in our vote. Our next question comes from Corey who asks, how do you grow such superb facial hair? Superb facial hair? Oh, like this, or this, or this, or this, or this? Not that one. True fact. When I have a beard, I brush it a thousand times a day, like a princess. 999, 1,000. One, two, three. But when I shave, it's with a straight razor and a badger bristle brush. Because remember, if it's not badger bristle, it's not shaving, it's attempted suicide. Our next question comes from John, who says, I live down in Grafton. Do I have to come all the way to Colchester to try your mead? Assuming you mean Grafton, Vermont, and congratulations for being one of a very select few people who live in Grafton, Vermont, the answer is no, you don't have to come to the meadery to try our mead. You're welcome to do so, but we are now being distributed by Feral Distributing. So we're anywhere that you can buy beer, cider, or wine. Just ask for us if you don't see us. Our last question comes from Lisa, who says, you said on a tour that you were hit by lightning. Were you lying? I was not lying. I was hit by lightning. Right here, in Beach Haven Terrace, New Jersey, when I was 18 years old. It was not fun, but I am still alive. So as far as getting hit by lightning goes, that is a total win. And that is the end of the question portion for this week. I'm gonna send it over to Ricky with our word of the week. Ricky? Thank you, Ricky. This week's term is argillaceous powder. That is a powder that is made of clay that is used as a clarifying agent in brewing. You can drop it through your mead, your wine, what have you, and the positively charged clay particles will pull the negatively charged hazy bits out of your product, making a crystal clear product like this. That is the word of the week and the end of our show. Keep sending your questions and I'll get to them as soon as I can. Cheers. I made a steak, she kissed a snake. How many doctors did it take? One, two, three, four. I'm gonna kick his ass in this competition.